Today, we will talk about cost accounting, definition and types with examples. Cost accounting is a form of managerial accounting that aims to capture a company's total cost of production by assessing the variable costs of each step of production as well as fixed costs, such as a lease expense. Cost accounting is not GAAP compliant, and can only be used for internal purposes. Cost accounting is used by a company's internal management team to identify all variable and fixed costs associated with the production process. It will first measure and record these costs individually, then compare input costs to output results to aid in measuring financial performance and making future business decisions. There are many types of costs involved in cost accounting, each performing its own function for the accountant. While cost accounting is often used by management within a company to aid in decision-making, financial accounting is what outside investors or creditors typically see. Financial accounting presents a company's financial position and performance to external sources through financial statements. One key difference between cost accounting and financial accounting is that, while in financial accounting the cost is classified depending on the type of transaction, cost accounting classifies costs according to the information needs of the management. Standard costing assigns standard costs, rather than actual costs, to its cost of goods sold and inventory. Variance analysis is used to assess the difference between the standard cost and the actual cost incurred. It determines whether the variance is favorable or unfavorable, and the factors contributing to it. Activity-based costing identifies overhead costs from each department and assigns them to specific cost objects, such as goods or services. The ABC system of cost accounting is based on activities, which refer to any event, unit of work, or task with a specific goal, such as setting up machines for production. It is more accurate and helpful when it comes to managers reviewing the cost and profitability of their company's specific services or products. The main goal of lean accounting is to improve financial management practices within an organization. Traditional costing methods are replaced by value-based pricing and lean-focused performance measurements. Financial decision-making is based on the impact on the company's total value stream profitability. Value streams are the profit centers of a company, which is any branch or division that directly adds to its bottom-line profitability. Marginal costing is the impact on the cost of a product by adding one additional unit into production. It can help management identify the impact of varying levels of costs and volume on operating profit. The break-even point is calculated as the total fixed costs of a company divided by its contribution margin. Scholars believe that cost accounting was first developed during the Industrial Revolution when the emerging economics of industrial supply and demand forced manufacturers to start tracking their fixed and variable expenses in order to optimize their production processes. By the beginning of the 20th century, cost accounting had become a widely covered topic in the literature on business management. Cost accounting is an internally focused, firm-specific system used to implement. Cost accounting is helpful because it can identify where a company is spending its money, how much it earns, and where money is being lost. Cost accounting aims to report, analyze, and lead to the improvement of internal cost controls and efficiency. Even though companies cannot use cost accounting figures in their financial statements or for tax purposes, they are crucial for internal controls. Certain cost categories will typically be included in cost accounting, such as direct costs, indirect costs, variable costs, fixed costs, and operating costs. Since cost accounting methods are developed by and tailored to a specific firm, they are highly customizable and adaptable. Managers appreciate cost accounting because it can be adapted, tinkered with, and implemented according to the changing needs of the business. Cost accounting systems and the techniques that are used with them can have a high startup cost to develop and implement. Training accounting staff and managers on esoteric and often complex systems takes time and effort, and mistakes may be made early on. Higher skilled.
Cost accounting is an informal set of flexible tools that a company's managers can use to estimate how well the business is running. Cost accounting looks to assess the different costs of a business and how they impact operations, costs, efficiency, and profits. These are meant to be internal metrics and figures only. Since they are not GAAP compliant, cost accounting cannot be used for a company's audited financial statements released to the public. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Cost accounting is used internally by management in order to make fully informed business decisions. 2. Unlike financial accounting, which provides information to external financial statement users, cost accounting is not required to adhere to set standards and can be flexible to meet the particular needs of management. 3. As such, cost accounting cannot be used on official financial statements and is not GAAP compliant. 4. Cost accounting considers all input costs associated with production, including both variable and fixed costs. 5. Types of cost accounting include standard costing, activity-based costing, lean accounting, and marginal costing. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.